Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make crock pot American goulash. I'm going to take a classic goulash recipe. Ground beef, tomatoes, pasta, cheese, flavorings, some broth. It's going to happen all in one crock pot today. And we're going to slow cook it. It's a very comforting dish that your family is going to love. Let's go ahead and put this one together. Now I find that a lot of American goulash recipes have ground beef in them. Now I've made one before and I've used a big Dutch oven when I made American goulash. But we're going to be making it in the crock pot. All right, I'm going to place a skillet on a burner and put it on medium high heat. We're going to add one and a half pounds of ground beef into the skillet. Start breaking it up. We want to cook it until it is nice and brown and no longer pink. Why are we doing this, you ask? <laughs> I like the texture of cooked ground beef before it goes into the crock pot. Now you can just put it in the crock pot if you want, but it just takes longer to cook and the texture is just kind of weird for me. So you might as well just go ahead and have it browned up. And it'll absorb all those delicious flavors. Now while you're browning up your ground beef, you can go ahead and start chopping up a bell pepper, which I already did for you guys. And then I've got two small onions that I'm going to chop up also. I'm just going to take the ends off the onion, pop the outer layer off, just cut through the skin, and then peel off that rough outer layer. I'm not going to be dicing these. We're going to be really giving them a nice chop because anything you put in the crock pot is going to cook down and you still want to have that texture of the onion. So I'm just going to cut it in half. Big chops. Now I've already got half of a green pepper chopped up here. I'm just going to add another color to the dish. Okay, so the ground beef is almost browned up. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and add the onion. I want to get that softened down just a little bit before I put it into the crock pot. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and throw in the peppers that we diced up. Start softening those down just a little bit. We're just going to do this for another two to three minutes. Now I'm not seasoning the ground beef, peppers, and onions at this time because there's going to be a lot of flavor going into the crock pot and this will all absorb it. All right, what we're going to do now is start putting our ground beef, peppers, and onions into the crock pot. Now I'm just going to use a slotted spoon to kind of drain the grease out. Turn off your burner. There we go. Now I'll use the yellow bell peppers because I've got tomatoes going in and so I wanted something to offset the red. But you can use any colored peppers you want in this dish. Okay, we're going to add all this deliciousness right here into the crock pot with the ground beef, peppers, and onions and let it slow cook. First thing you need, one can of diced tomatoes. This is 14 ounces. one jar of pasta sauce, 24 ounces. I'm gonna fill the jar up with one cup of beef broth, give it a shake.
I've got a can of 10 ounces of tomato soup, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, or if you want to go less than that, you can do that. Quarter teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. I just like to cover everything up with it. Let's go in and mix it all together. Right, we're going to place the lid on and we're going to cook this on high for two hours or on low for four hours. We're going to come back and I'm going to show you how we're going to incorporate the pasta and the cheese. Okay, I've cooked this on high for two hours. What we're going to do now is add the pasta. Now you can do this two ways. The first way is to just go ahead and put it in uncooked and I'm using elbow pasta. Once you put this in the crock pot, it will cook about one hour, give or take, until you get nice and tender pasta. Now the second way is to just let this cook three hours on high, and then right before it's done, cook your pasta in boiling water, drain it, and then add it to your crock pot. Either way is fine. Yum. You wanna keep your crock pot on the high heat. Add your pasta. This is 12 ounces of elbow macaroni. All right, stir it in. Get it nice and covered. Look at your liquid level. If you feel like you need to add any more, go ahead. Now this is a goulash, not a soup or a stew, so keep that in mind. You don't want it too soupy. You want it to absorb whatever liquid is in there. We're gonna place the lid back on. I stole a little spoonful because I wanted to taste it, make sure that the flavorings are all there. Mmm, that's good. We've got one more thing that's gonna happen to this dish. Give it a little saltiness also. So when we come back, we're gonna finish this off and give it a try. We're halfway through the cook time. So what we're gonna do is just remove the lid, give it a stir, push the pasta down. And then we'll place the lid back on. Yeah, this is so done. Make sure that you turn off your crock pot. Oh yeah, it absorbed all those liquids in there. Look at the colors. Mm. All right, let's add our cheese. Any kind of shredded cheese. Mix that all together. I'm gonna plate this up and give it a try for you. Okay, here's my bite. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. The only thing missing is corn. My husband said no corn this time, so. The corn got left out. But if you want to add corn, you can add corn. <laughs> I'll make it as a side dish. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like the big chunks of the onions and the peppers in there. Well, that just makes it. That's delicious. The pasta is very tender when you do it like this. You can do it like this. All right. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of my American goulash. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification because that little bell will notify you when all my shows are posted. Okay guys, I will see y'all on the next episode.